Hey everyone, Kathy here from the Merit Image Photography. I want to take some time to highlight the tools that Photoshop has available and put in clear and concise, easy to understand terms just how much you can do. I'm starting from the very beginning. For some, this will be way too easy, but stay tuned as we will build with each tool and each lesson highlighting the editing of one image and arrive at a final product. The, the basics are the most important jumping off point. Everything in Photoshop builds on each other. It can be like learning a foreign language. You need to start with the words and then end with the sentences. So here we go. The healing brush tool. The healing brush is one of the most important tools in portrait editing. Everyone wants to see the most ideal version of themselves, but they still want to look like who they are. Keep this in mind when you're editing. Removing a mole or a scar may not be what somebody wants, so you'd like, you want to have that conversation ahead of time with your client. I always start my editing by duplicating my image. You never want to edit on your original image because it gives you more flexibility. You can always then go back and delete the layer or mask it off and expose the original underneath. So let's go ahead and duplicate our layer. We're going to go to layer, duplicate layer, and we'll just call this duplicate. When I use the healing brush tool, I like to zoom in really close up, like 200%. Okay, so here's our healing brush tool. When sampling an area, I like to have it at 0% hardness, as you can see here. Uh, what that does is keep there from being any hard lines around my edit. So what the healing brush tool does is you're going to sample an area of clear skin by holding Option and clicking here. Release the Option key and then paint over your area. What, the, what this healing brush tool does is it will sample the skin from a clear area, but it will match the color and the texture of the skin that's surrounding uh, your blemish. So by doing this, you're healing the skin, but you're keeping the consistency that you would like to that, that you would like to see. And this is different from the clone tool, which we will talk about another time. With the clone tool, the clone will just take directly from an image and try and place the cloned area right where it's supposed to be. We will get into the clone brush next, and then we will do a comparison of both of them when we get to the next video. I hope you've enjoyed this, and have a great night. Thank you so much for listening.